Good morning, Sound Squad, and welcome back to another VGC 2017 Battle Spot Ranked Live. Featuring more of this Gengar team, we are revisiting this team right now. Gengar is now rocking out with Protect, Destiny Bond, Sludge Bomb, and Shadow Ball. Cartana replaces uh, uh, Garchomp, and Arcanine joins the squad instead of a Marowak, my friends. A bulky Arcanine at that. It's basically a standard calm one. I think this team is a little bit better now. It definitely should be more functional. I am upset that I have Finny, Arcanine, and Cartana. But, um, I mean, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I don't like playing too standard, but it is what it is. This team should be better now. So, with that being said, my friends, we have O-R-L over here with Nihilego. Uh, Finny, Smeargle, Zerkatry, Marowak, and a Snorlax. I honestly have no clue what happens here. I kind of just go Mandibuzz, Finny, just to prevent anything... Uh, from how I could taunt things and whatnot. Uh, but then if you go with Zerkatree and Smeargle, you just go like Tail Glow and that's Ripperonis. So, I'm actually gonna leave Gengar so I can Z Destiny Bond, kill that Zerkatree, and we're going to kill me. And then, who could Oko that Smeargle? Probably nobody, because Smeargle has a Sash. Let's go Gengar Kartana. And then back it up with my... How do I kill this Nihilego and his Finny? Coco. And I guess my Finny? Let's do that. It's going to be game one, guys. There we go. I'm going to go with that, I believe. So, with that being said, though, my friends, the game is on the way. If you're enjoying this team, you want to see more of this team, you want to just get hyped for the battles, show some love to the like button down below, and here we go, baby. I think Gengar is pretty solid here as a lead, because if you go with, like, Smeargle with your Gargle with your, um... With your stupid, uh, freaking, uh, Z, t uh, Tail Glow, and then, uh, Follow Me. Should be alright. If you go Spiky Shields, that's gonna break our Titus Sash, which could cause problems. So, I think my play is let Zerkatry get set up, and then just Z Destiny Bond. Hopefully you go for, like, whatever to kill me. Because if not, then, because he might not be a threat. There it is. Zerkatry and Smeargle called that perfectly, I think. Alright, Cartana Gengar. Hmm. You're definitely gonna go follow me. I kind of wanna. I, if, I, if I Z, if also what I didn't realize, guys, with Ghost DMZ on Gengar, you also get Z Move Shadow Ball, which definitely should be enough to kill a Zerk Tree, I hope. So, because let's see right here. Let's see what the power is real quick. I'm not gonna use it. Uh, it is 160. That's amazing, but can still do get damage when needed. Alright, um. Would he Oko me right here, though? No, he's gonna go Tail Glow. So let's get Smeargle out of the way. I just go for a Sludge Bomb on Zerkatree and a Leaf Blade on Zerkatree to get that crit. Let's see what Smeargle does. If Smeargle with Spike of Shield and messes up, that'd be great for us. If not, he's gonna go follow me and then Zerkatree get the Tail Glow up. So hopefully, he goes for Fake out of the Cartana. There goes my Sash Discharge. Interesting. Interesting. He quits his own Smeargle. Sludge Bomb goes off. And Leaf Blade doesn't go off. I get the poison on the Zerkatry, which is pretty friggin' solid. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go Destiny Bond and then switch out my Cartana Protect here. Because I think you're forced to attack that because you're poisoned. You can't go set up on me. So I'm just gonna go for Z Destiny Bonds. And then pray protect with Cartana. Let's do that. Z Destiny Bonds. And then Cartana will protect. Did that, I did not expect this charge, guys. Did not expect that. I was just Smeargle just straight up like doing Smeargle things. Like I, I like being, I, being able to do Smeargle things. So that's fine. He goes King Shit. He's probably going to discharge again. But I mean not because he's scarfed. Oh my god. I couldn't even realize that because he fake out a Cartana. Wow. Well, there goes your discharge. That really sucks for our Cartana there. At least we do get around this King, King Shield Smeargle. That should be a free KO for our Cartana. One more turn of poison, he's gone. Oh, it sucks so bad. Evasive will go up. Oh, my lord. Oh, right, well, there goes my free plus one on you. Well, I can't even have speed you anyway. I'll bring in my own Coco. And then it powers up your own flipping discharge. Well, you die anyway. I'll bring in Coco right now. 
Scarf Circuit Tree is gonna die this turn. I'm gonna try to double with Kartana here. I'm gonna try to double with Kartana because you're forced to this. Well, you can't discharge actually, so you can only hit one Pokemon. And if you're Scarf, you're forced to struggle. So no, we're fine here. You are forced to struggle. You are fine here. Um, you're gonna kill yourself, which means. I want Cortana getting the Beast Boost. I'm gonna protect the, I'm gonna protect the Coco, and then just Leaf Blade the uh, Smeargle, because you're forced to protect. Uh, you're forced to struggle. Cause you're gonna attack, so I should be fine here with this. With Drew Smeargle, Snorlax. That's fine, but I may get a free Leaf Blade on that bad boy. Let's go. Coco protects. You kill yourself with struggle. Yeah, there it is, baby. Alright, uh, goes for Katana, does nothing, because we're so defensive, you did kill yourself. Beautiful Gengar's curse body, just kill, yo, let's go, dude. Alright, Leaf Blade goes off just outside of the range of, um, that is beautiful. Sacred Sword might kill you now. That is a thing of beauty right there. Alright, Spirit comes back out. Um... I'm just gonna go for the double. I'm gonna T-Bolt Snorlax. Hopefully, he'll die to it. And then I'm gonna try to Leaf Blade Smear. Is he gonna fake almost like a Kartana? Because I have Sacred Sword, obviously. Where is it? He doesn't know my item is. I, mean, I think I have Titanium Z. He's gonna go for the Kartana here. Now we go to the Coco. We kill the Smeargle. Get a free Beast Boost. And if that Snorlax was like Belgium or something, we might kill with a plus one Sacred Sword. Oh, we might. Oh, we might. What is your last Pokemon? Okay, he's gonna kill goodbye Coco. Not even goodbye Coco. What are you trying to save? What are you trying to kill Coco for? What is your last Pokemon? I guess it's Finny, but it doesn't matter because I have a Leaf Blade, Cartana. Nihilego! I have Finny in the back, so I'm just gonna go for a T Bolt on Nihilego. And a Sacred Sword on the Lax at plus one. Hopefully that kills it. Nihilego protects. Fine by me. Fine by me. I'm going with Sacred Sword all day in that Lax right now. Table's gonna fail. Now it's Kartana's turn. Sacred Sword at plus one on the Lax. God. God, yes. And game one is ours, baby. Cursed Body Gengar saving lives, letting Kartana live, and getting us that win in game one. That is a huge W, fam. That is a huge W and a huge plus two on Kartana. Smart Strike and T Bolt, and that is the game, man. That is the game. T Bolt brings you into your Sash, or like, you're not Sash, brings you a little, little, little below half. There we go, and then Smart Strike for the KO. Beautiful, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Good game one. It feels good to get that cursed body off. Did not expect this scarf. Zerkatru is just discharge shenanigans, but it almost paid off. Curse by to keep Cartana alive and allow Cartana just get three KOs right there, my friend. That was huge. That was great. And guess what? It's time for game two, baby. And I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Let's see here. We're going to press no, then yes. All right, no, yes. I mean, moving along. Moving along, my friends. That was a good game one. I like that a lot. That was a good game one. And you guys are all upset over Gengar's nerf, including myself. Gengar's nerf just won me the game, basically. Feels good, man. Feels friggin' good. Put on some Guzan right now and smoothly say out the game, too, my friend. Team, you guys got someone from Unknown Japan. And your team is the Lele, Coco, Buzzwall, Porygon, Zerkatry, and a Celesteela. Mm. Mm mm mm. Alright, Talon seems irrelevant because you have Trick Room. So I'm gonna go. I kinda wanna go Arcanine Finny. That covers almost everything. Except for Zerkatry. So I think Arcanine comes out no matter what, because he's so specially bulky, he could will of things, and I could uh threaten that buzzle and Celesteela with the Arcanine. But I'm pretty sure you go like Porygon Lele or Porygon Coco. So if that's the case. I think I kind of want to go Arcanine, Gengar, try to bait you into the Z-Destiny Bond. 
Uh, Coco takes care of Celesteela. And I guess, uh... Hmm. I guess I go Finny and Coco. Because if Arcanine drops it, then I have no answer for Celesteela. But Cartana, you know what? Let's go Cartana. I'm feeling Cartana, man. After game one, I think Cartana on a spot. Forget that, Coco! We'll go with Cartana. We'll rely on Arcanine to take care of the uh, Celesteela. And we're going to see my opponent lead. Most likely Porygon, Coco, Porygon, Lele, or Lele, somebody else. But I feel one of those two mods are almost guaranteed to lead here. Let's see. Game one. Let's get it. Celesteela, Coco. Prove me wrong time and time again, battle spot. Time and time again. Well, I'm happy I have, I have Arcanine here. Gengar is just going to probably protect and scale things out. Alright. Um. Uh, hmm. I'm going to Willow with Celesteela. And then just... Protect Gengar. See what goes down right now. So I feel like you're going to attack Gengar and protect Celesteela. I'm going to attack Celesteela. And you're going to protect Celesteela as I protect Gengar. So let's see what happens here. Does nothing happen this turn? All right, we see a Gigavolt Havoc. Gigavolt Havoc right off the bat on the Gengar. Unfortunately, you outspeed me, so I cannot get my Z the Tiny Bond off. Unless you're going for Arcanine here. All right, Arcanine gets buried right off the bat. I'm going to live that. Barely gonna live that, but we do live it because we're freaking bulky Arcanine. Wilbus goes off on that Celesteela. Very nice. And I think a Z Destiny Bond may be in store for Gengar. Well, hmm. Not yet, actually. Not just yet. Because we're gonna go for a Flamethrower on Celesteela, and we're gonna Sludge Bomb the Coco slot. And then from there, we should be fine. Because you kept on Arcanine dropping there. But he ain't, fam. He ain't. So someone's going to switch out here. T-Bolt on the Arcanine. Barely living again, my friends. All right. Well, over half done to you. Or I'm just going to kill you. Or I'm just going to slaughter you. And then Flamethrower bring you down to the yellow. All right, and then the burn damage as you guys a crit. Wow weakness policy Celesteela Oh Man, oh man, heavy sun goes off on Gengar. You're burnt though, but you're back to normal basically you should be living that Yeah, we're good there and there goes your heavy slam curse body my friends. All right, who do you bring in now? Who do you bring in now? I'm gonna see destiny by with Gengar and then snarl with the Arcanine Ooh, I don't think it's worth going for Z Destiny Bond right now. I really don't think it's worth, man. Because Celsius is going to go for Arcanine. Poor guy's going to go for Trick Room. It's really not worth. It is really not worth. Alright, we're going to turn Gengar into Finny, and Arcanine's going to go for a... Oh, uh, we're going we're gonna to burn the Porygon. And then turn Gengar into Finny. Yeah, we're doing that, because Coco's already dead. Yeah, we're fine. We're going to do that. Gengar, uh, Arcanine already did his job, man. Let's be honest. Do that. Get my terrain up. No, oh, I'm an idiot. What am I doing? 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 Ooh, the ice beam. Alright, so that's alright. Nothing really mattered there then. Nothing really mattered there. Celestia is exposed. So we could just kill Celestia with our. We should bring in Kartana here. We go Combine, Sacred Sword, Celestia dies, you get a free plus one, and then we just take down Porygon slowly but surely. But now, you could switch Celestia out for 
Doesn't matter, Leaf Blade's neutral. So, uh, our Psychic Sword, mm, I don't know. Could go either way. Alright, do that. And then come on with Finny. Because you either the Celestia drop dead here, or you switch it out into... I don't know what. Ugh. Ugh. What's in my mouth? What's in my mouth? I'm so mad at my little bit like I had like an idiot. I'm so mad I did that. Didn't really matter, but... Uh, I'm so mad I did that. Goes to the double. It doesn't get it. Sacred Sword goes off. Should be dead. And duty is. at Sack Booster Kartana. You might Ice Cream Kartana here, to be honest. Oh, you might. Oh, you might. And I don't think you... Well... Cause you're, you're going last no matter what, cause you're freaking, cause you're freaking uh, Porygon too. Trick room it is. All right. Trick room it is, my friends. And he's gonna come in right now. Something slow. Something pretty damn slow. Hunter, I'm gonna come on. I'm defending to cover that trick room option. And we should be all right now, cause we have Sash in, on deck with Kartana. We're good. Buzzwall. All right, Moonblast slaughters your family. And I'm just gonna leaf blade Porygon. Because you can't kill my Finny in one shot. Even with Poison Jab. Unless Bulls will Sash, then I cry. But I think it's going to be Fitanium Zed. Ooh, killing my Kartana. Most. Maybe you're killing Kartana getting a free Beast Boost? Maybe if you do that. He's killing Kartana, man. Kartana goes bye-bye. Bye, Kartana. Well, there goes my free plus one Leaf Blade and Porygon. So now I just have Gengar or Kudestity Bonded, hopefully. And then that's about it. Cause you're definitely not gonna go for the. Uh, you're definitely not gonna go for the. Uh, unless you have toxic, which you can't do just yet. Cause my train's still up. So Buzzle dies. Since you're sashed. All right, Buzzle's gone. Beautiful. And then from here, just go Destiny Bond Gengar, and hopefully you take the bait and just Ice Beam me. Ice Beam Gengar. Are you at plus one? I don't know if Ice Beam will kill you. Actually, I might have a little too much health. Let's see. You are at plus one attack. Oh, well. Why not go for it? Why not go for it? Do that, and then... Just gonna go for commons. Hopefully we don't have toxic. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go, baby. There we go. Game two is ours. Going to game three. That felt pretty good. I like that. All right, not bad, not bad. Played the game pretty well. The bulk of Arcanine was just too much. My opponent thought Arcanine was gone. Not today, homie. Not today, baby. Not today. Not today. Ended up getting all that damage to Celestia. That burn is what really made a difference for me. That burn made a huge difference for me in that Celestia. Crit Flamethrower definitely mattered too, because I don't think uh, Kartana would have been able to kill it. But at the same time, I don't think my opponent should have to double protect there. But that's alright. It doesn't matter. We got the women going to game two. We're going to game three. Can we get to 3 0? That was the first time I think I won with Goose Music in a while, guys. Usually when I put on Guzma, I lose. It's like a curse. But I think it's the first one in a while I went with it. So that wasn't bad at all, man. That was not bad at all. So that means my opponent forfeit in there meant he did not have Toxic at all on his pouring on too, which is great for me. Because I, obviously I got to win. And now we got someone from Attica, Greece over here. 1604 rating with a team of... Torco Lilligant, Chomp, Oranguru, Muck... And the flippin' floppin' Bulu. Alright, that means for me... Hmm. That means for me... Might be a Mandibuzz Buzz Finny lead. Because you can't put me to sleep, and then I'll bait you through a Z move into Finny. Switch up the Finny to the Arcanine. And then, to wrap everything up. Do I bring Z Destiny Bond Gengar? Do I bring Kartana for the Bulu? But I already have an Arcanine for the Bulu. Uh, Coco can't do Jack Diddly Do here. I'm believing the Gengar power, Destiny Bond. I'm believing it, dude. I am believing in Gengar's Destiny Bond. All right, here we go. Here we go, my friends. Here we go. Adelina! What is your lead? I'm going to call Lilligan Torkoal. Then I go Finny. I go Finny. Uh, Finny Mandibuzz. You go Z move to the Finny. Try to kill it. I bring it to the Arcanine. Um, your Torkoal goes for Eruption because it's not going to hit. Arcanine doesn't do much damage. 
to either. Amanda Boys might get slaughtered a little bit. Alright, so my play here is damage Torkoal so we can stop erupting. You can't put him in his sleep because the terrain is up. You can't sleep at her, uh, my man, the bus because of an overcoat. So your only play is to Z-move the Finny here. And I'm not going to allow that. Because what I'm going to do here is... If I even Talons. Who could out to be with Talons? Not many people, to be honest. So if I go Talons here instead of Roost... Achieve double speed. I want you to do less eruption damage is what I want, but foul plays I can do that much to him. I think I play is still foul play Torkoal and bring in Arcanine because I'm not gonna get I'm not, I'm not gonna get Z moved by Lillian. There's no way. I want Torkoal to do as little damage as possible. Little damage as possible. So do that. Show me your Z move with the Lilligan. or just forget about uh, sleep pattern. Try to sleep pattern my. I uh, forget about overcoat. I try to see pattern my ooh protect. All right, got me good, fam. Not really, to be honest. Now, what she's gonna be our neg two now? Fine by me, my friends. Fine by me. Oh, if I went tailwind, you'd have been freaking crying for a little bit, my friend. Unfortunate, but it's all right. Now we're just going to because you're a neg two. I'm just gonna tailwind with the mandibuzz, and Arcanine will go for a. Snarl and lower that eruption damage. We could do that. Before we get sad. Here's a double switch. Chomp comes in. Oh, if I foul played. Oh, man. Well, again, for sex. Why are you seeing that? I guess you want me to flame. All right. Well, we get a we get a tailwind up. And we can't fa we can't willow chomp, obviously, because of the terrain. So, just do that. Tailwind goes up. Alright, foul play the Garchomp, and then Arcanine turns into, uh, Finny again. Not taunt, not taunt, not taunt. Foul play, Garchomp, and turn Arcanine into Finny. So with the next two, with the next two, uh, Lilligant, we're fine here. Who's coming in? It's the Muck! Alright, Muck. We're gonna get, uh, Ground DMZ here, most likely, and the Finny. We might lose Finny. But that's alright though. Well, it's not alright, because that, that gives away that gives that's one option gone for the uh, Torkoal. But over half is done here to this guard chomp. He'll die to the next foul play. Uh Grand Dimsy goes off on the Finny. We'll be we're gonna be at the low yellow, high red. And then from here we just I'm probably gonna hurt Muck once just to get in the kill range of like maybe a flamethrower in the sun. Well, actually, it's not gonna do much. Hmm. I don't know, honestly, what I'm gonna do here. I have Gengar in the back. Oh, I have more HP than I thought. Alright, not bad. Because now you're gonna go, like, switch out Garchomp for, like, Lilligant. Muck's gonna go for Poison Jab. And should I just taunt Muck in case he goes to Curse? Hmm. I'll just fat play chomp slot, I think. And then bring in the Gengar. Let's do that. Let's do that. Because Tamlin's up. He's gonna go for poison jab. I'm gonna eat I'm gonna eat that up pretty well. Then Gengar goes to ZS Bond, kills the mock, hopefully, as he goes to the knockoff. And then I kill uh Lilligan here. Oh, that's Torkoal, alright. We got slow boys, yo. We got slow boys here. All right, foul play goes off. Get some damage to that Torkoal. But Muck goes to Poison Jab on the Gengar slot. That's fine. Does absolutely nothing. And then we're going to go for a foul play on Torkoal. He's going to go Heat Wave, most likely. Foul play Torkoal, and then Z Destiny Bond, and try to kill us. Hopefully, I just died at something. Hopefully, I just died at something. Let's do that. Hopefully Gengar just dies, whether it's an eruption or a knockoff. I would prefer a knockoff, dude. Please go knockoff. Let's see, look how mad he's looking look at me. He's so smug. He's so like, yeah, kill me, baby. Touch me, baby. Touch me. There it is. 
All right. Foul play goes off. But Kill the Gengar. Yes, he took the bait. He took the bait. There we go, baby. Muck is gone. Yes. Yes. That is so beautiful. Oh, my lordy. Oh, my lordy. So that is gone to all. Oh, say goodbye to your damage, my friend. Say goodbye to your damage. You're looking speed stat. Let's go. Bring in Arcanine right now. You have Chomp in the back and Lilligant. Lilligant comes in as you get after you Heat Wave, but if you bring in Garchomp, fine by me. I'll go like make it neg one. I'll, well, then Foul Play does less damage to it. Lilligant. All right, good. Um. Go for another Tailwind and then uh, Snarl. Tailwind and Snarl. But, but, but I can also Willow things now, but that's, not, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, so Chomp comes in, I get my Tailwind up. There it is, my friends. There it is. The Ligand's going to go for like... Oh, we might sleep at our Arcanine, actually. Nope. Goes to Protect on the slot. That's fine. I don't know why you would do that. Snarl up, baby. Snarl it up! Get some little extra damage on that Chomp. Guarantee a Foul Play kill no matter what. Tailwind goes up, and then I just go for Foul Play Flamethrower. Game's over, fam. We got this game in the bag. Man, we played solid today, guys. We played so good today, fam. We played very well today. If you bring in Lilig if you bring in Torkoal again for the Lilligan, that's fine. Actually, game's not over yet. Lilligan gets exposed no matter what, though. So, of course, switches out. That's fine. Yeah, this game's pretty much over. Game is pretty much over. Because you put that the last turn. All right, there's Torkoal. Chop is dead. Oh, we played solid, guys. We played solid. We played really good today. Making my flamethrower stronger on the Torkoal slot. If I play kills, Chop Chop protects, which you probably will. Nope, no protect. Alright, Chop is dead. Get some flamethrower damage in that Torkoal. Very nice. Foul play goes off on that Garchomp. Garchomp is dead. Then we just gotta do with the Lilligant. And one who's faster. The Lilligant's definitely faster. Because I don't have max speed. I have, I have zero speed Arcanine. By zero. I mean zero investment. I have 31 IV, but. Yeah, we're good, guys. We are good. We are good. Lilligan comes back in. You can sleep out of those. So you might sleep out of Arcanine. So I'm going to taunt Lilligan. And then protect Arcanine. Let's do that. Let's do that. I ain't trying to go to sleep right now. I ain't trying to go to sleep right now. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here with that crapola. All right, you're taunting that. So you're going to go for Leaf Storms, and that's going to wrap things up. Heat Wave, sure. Sure, sure, sure. All right, Mandibuzz could roost it up now. And now I would just... I, I'm pretty sure that uh, Lugan's going to be sassy. Let me just go for Snarl here. Make our lives easier. As Lugan's forced the Leaf Storm over and over again to a Pokemon that resisted big time. So we're fine, man. This game's over. Maybe you kill my my Mandibus here, but I doubt it. Or you just go for Arcanine. Holy crap. Did more than I wanted the two. It's a crit. That's why I did more than I wanted the two. Ogwab goes off right back to where we were. Plus, plus some. Oh, yeah. 143. Hell yeah, dude. Snor goes off. Breaks the Sash. Makes the Neck 3. Torkoal Neck 1. And that is going to wrap things up, my friend, for this whole entire episode. Man, what an episode it was, guys. What an episode it was, fam. Alright. That seals the deal. Damn, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This episode was really good. I hope this video gets views so people could like, be like, see the power of like, just playing Gengar right and whatnot. Not really. I mean, I, I got lucky by him taking the bait and whatnot, but I don't know. This is a good video for learning and whatnot. This is a very good video. Alright, Foul Play Torkoal, Flintthrower Lilligant, because he can't protect, because he's forced to attack, because he's taunted. And that is that. Yeah, get out of here, baby. There we go. Solid stuff right there. Guys, Talent Squad. That was solid, solid, solid games. We get the solid 3 0. Please, I want this to get views, man. That was awesome, guys. Spread the love of this video because this one is a good one for sure. All right, guys. As always, I'm Mr. Talent. You're the Glorious Talent Squad. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, show us some love to the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any competitive Pokemon content, guys. I'm Mr. Talent. You're the Glorious Talent Squad. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time for some more battle in action, guys.